So in the previous videos we were adding time to our playing and now, lastly, we are concluding with artistry. Adding artistry to internal singing. So this is how basically the last task looks like. Um, you would play with both hands with correct wrist and elbow movements while imagining every note in timbre harmony, dynamics and voicing, with movement glissando in between notes, and internally seeing with musical speech phrasing, musical image form, pun, and artistry while playing. Again, all the imagination part and movements, and maybe even phrasing, would be already in the sensation memories, so they will come along naturally while playing. Artistry helps with holding your ground when performing in front of the audience. Play confidently and stop feeling energy of listeners that always blocks us and freezes our mind and hands. I know, that sounds familiar. So for this principle, you really have to watch my playlist titled The Piano World Program uh, to know and study this principle thoroughly because well, I cannot explain it here again. <laughs> It'll take so much time. Okay, now very important uh, thing. Keep in mind that artistry can be done even without any other principles of the system, except intonation, weight, and musical image, because you would need those to convey artistry while playing. And I have made an amazing video about this topic titled How to Feel Confident While Performing on Stage. It literally helps every single student who came to me with only one request. Start feeling confident on stage and overcome stage fright. So that's why I just put all this knowledge together and made this video. All these links actually should be down below in the description. Now let me just tell you one thing, why do we need musical image? Uh, if you would just apply artistry, your playing would sound dull and stupid because of its energy itself. So artistry will only apply as filter, as enhancement to everything we do. Um, at least you should have musical image. In this case, artistry would enhance and make your energy in your image even bigger. Um, for example, if I sing this just in image, the melody. And I sing with artistry. Now I feel the same, but I express it through artistry. sounds more dramatic but it's okay when you play on the stage it's just what you need because if you don't have artistry everything is so small nobody will even notice you the audience will keep thinking about what it's thinking <laughs> so um, again <laughs> give you an example if you just sing with artistry look how dull it is just with artistry It's like a soldier in military, you have to do this, do this, do this, <laughs> because that's the energy. But when you really combine with image and you just use it to enhance, this is where music comes from. Okay, so on the last stage, just again, and that's exactly what I do. <laughs> you want to think, you want to know what Emma Newman is thinking before she starts playing? Look at this. So I tune into image and form and time. Then I put a little bit of artistry into that and I feel my artistry, but I feel that this artistry is expresses 
this trinity of image form and time. Then, again, I wait, imagine the first note in a necessary timbre and I start playing, thinking about um, feeling image form. Basically, I'm thinking about how artistry expresses image form and time. I'm following the phrasing in my mind, I kind of notice uh, my touch and tone using my imagination. speaking like this it's really the way you speak and when you speak this way you really feel like um, some of the great pianists I'm sorry but I have this feeling you know when like remember Arthur Rubinstein when he's playing he is like he sits like a Leo he, he speaks like a king and that's that's really what um, artistry gives you th this beautiful filter that um, helps you to become an artist, helps you to become a true pianist and true musician and um, not just a player who, who plays to himself in the small room, but really a, a performer, a performer on stage. This artistry helps me so much time in my life. Um, it brought me from this terror about uh, performing, where I would always fail, or at least I would be left with this sensation, to, to a uh, absolutely confident feeling, anticipation of next performance, because I know that uh, nothing will disturb me. And no matter how big the hall is, no matter how maybe grumpy and negative audience can be, well, you know what, they cannot go through this because I'm speaking out and I don't receive any of uh, their energy. And eventually, uh, audience, there comes the moment where audience start, in a way, listening to you. I mean, I don't want to say subdue to you, but it feels like you are leading and the audience is listening, not other way around. <laughs> when you feel you're completely destroyed and audience just eating you and there, there is a moment where this co-creation starts the audience you leading the, you speaking out you speak up and the audience is listening to you and then this exchange of energy starts and then audience kind of um, ins inspire you more with her energy and you ins and you receive this energy and it enriches your energy and then you inspire your audience even more and it goes like <gasps> like wow wow <laughs> for both sides and um, co-creation start this way so yeah <laughs> again even if you I uh, just want to say again if it's too hard for your imagination or phrasing or anything in this um, tutorial, artistry and musical image and internal singing could be three things that could save your life forever. Um, yeah, okay, on this dramatic <laughs> note, <laughs> I'm gonna finish my tutorial. Um, and thank you for all your very kind comments. Um, hope you can use something from here. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.